Hey, well, good afternoon. My name is Michael Lelly and I'm the program manager for the Equinox electric vehicle. What I'd like to do today is give you a very fast uh, overview of the vehicle and highlight some of those attributes that, quite frankly, are going to change the automotive industry forever. Okay. Clearly, automotive technology is growing at tremendous rates, but the electrification of the automobile coupled with fuel cell technology is fundamentally changing the very DNA of the automobile. With that, let's take a, a little bit more uh, detailed look at this vehicle here. Now, this vehicle is based on the architecture of the very popular Chevrolet Equinox, and we picked the Chevrolet Equinox very specifically because it's roomy, functional, can handle a family of four, and has uncompromised rear cargo volume as well because it's roomy, functional, can handle a family of four, and has uncompromised rear cargo volume as well. Vehicles are contented the exact same. Uh, clearly, the styling of the front end is very different than the production Equinox. Mm. There's a very fine balance between the coefficient of drag, the front end airflow, mm. and looking good. The vehicle's got to look good, but it's also got to cool our fuel cell stacks. Uh -huh. Now, the difference between an internal combustion engine Below uh, this module here, which is our power distribution module, yeah. which determines when and where power will be distributed throughout the vehicle. Mm -hmm. Okay, maybe what fuel fill uh, door here. Okay, uh, but on the inside, things look quite a bit different. We have a quick connect fitting here okay. for connecting the hydrogen storage line yeah. uh, to the vehicle, and the green LED here indicates the vehicle's ready. Uh, for the fill process. Okay. Now before you fill a hydrogen vehicle you need to add an electrical connection to the car. Oh. The, the vehicle uses this electrical connection oh, okay. back here. So you have okay. to connect it electrically to monitor the process. That's correct. The fuel, the pump has to know, speak to the car basically. Yeah, the, uh, the car is actually speaking to the pump. Or the car is speaking to the pump. The, the car okay. will make a determination on whether the fill process needs to be actually have to see a tailpipe. That's there is correct. no tailpipe to see. No, only clean That's water cool. comes out of the rear end of this vehicle. That is amazing. And the graphics on the side clearly indicate that the GM, that it is a GM fuel cell. I, I guess are those water molecules? That's right. This is uh, two, this represents the water molecule which is made up of two hydrogen atoms and an oxygen here. Yeah. And this is a clear October 22nd and this is and your name was? Uh... My name is Alan Gibu. I'm the driver relationship manager working on Project Driveway for General Motors. And Alan's going to help me drive this hydrogen powered fuel cell Equinox. Exactly. Right here. Chevrolet Equinox fuel cell electric vehicle. Electric vehicle. Electric vehicle. Here in downtown Manhattan in the meatpacking district. Okay, we just uh, filmed the inside of the car here, getting in, and sitting right here, close the door, oh. all right, thank you, and so it looks pretty much, uh, so right. far, so far, but here where the keys are, I'll pull that away, okay. is uh, something a little different for you, this is actually kilowatts times huh. 10. So uh, the green portion on the bottom, that's regenerative braking and regenerating uh, power, or electricity, to the nickel metal hydride battery. It holds some reserve power. Okay. The white is the okay. kilowatts. Yes. And the stack is capable of producing 93 kilowatts, and you see that it, it, it gives you more than 93 there. That's because uh, when uh, you have uh, energy demands that are exceeding 93 kilowatts, such as uh, um, uh, increased uh, throttle uh, mm -hmm. input to, to accelerate the vehicle quickly, yeah. uh, you'll, you'll surpass 93 because the battery is going to supplement your energy requirements. We have, uh, well, we have park, reverse, neutral, and drive, same as any other, but there is no... Uh, there's no transmission on this, right? There's no transmission. There's only one gear reduction set, no transmission fluid, and no oil either, by the way. Oh, that's good. So okay. there's no, no moving parts in, right, no moving parts in cell, inside of the uh, fuel cell. And this monitor uh, here, does this tell us something? Yes, it does. Monitor? It's a great graphic depiction of what's occurring with the fuel cell propulsion system. <laughs> the same as any other fuel tank, you see? Right. We want to keep how much things comfortable. In there. Okay. Right. We want things to keep okay. things comfortable, simple, is. and common. And that's what we have here so that it's an easy trip. The races again. Putting it into reverse. And got to watch out for the torque here. It sort of grabs you immediately. Okay. Now we just put it into drive. 
and we're off on hydrogen. All right, here we go. So it feels, you really feel the torque and the energy. I can't say it feels any differently than driving a, uh, a uh, combustion engine car right now at these low velocities. And of course we're in the busy Manhattan traffic here. It's very smooth. Very smooth acceleration. Can't say I hear anything. It's very, very silent. Very solid feel. Do you think this feels like the ride of a regular Equinox or is it uh, done differently? They feel a little different. You've got an electric motor that gives you full torque all the time. So you have a very seamless oh, transition yeah, in, spe that. in speed and there are no shift points. Yeah, that was interesting. You feel the... Uh, It'll go right okay. here. And then I'll go up to the uh, highway. So you actually have a very, very smooth, seamless drive with excellent acceleration. Go up 10th Avenue. Stepping on the gas a little bit. Very smooth. Very unique feel. Of course, when it just takes off. Now, the 0 to 60 is only 12 seconds, as I understand, on this vehicle. Yes, that's right. But you feel like it's moving a lot faster because of this very instantaneous torque. It certainly handles well, just like any other car, except for the uh, accelerations. So we're going to get on the highway now and bring this up to highway speeds here on the good old West Side Highway of Manhattan. So highway speeds coming up here. Well, you really feel like you're taking off. It's great. actually increases the delivery of hydrogen to the fuel cells like for example you know is there a system that increases the rate at which the hydrogen is enters the system or how does that work uh, absolutely it depends on the energy demands of the vehicle such as when you're tipping in the throttle and accelerating very quickly yeah. it would be similar to an internal combustion engine where you will need more power or more hydrogen uh, to produce electricity so the hydrogen is pumped in at a faster rate? Is that it's, it's, is it yoked to the uh, to the motor, or how does it know? Actually, what is happening is the injectors are, are allowing the hydrogen to come in a little quickly, a little more quickly than than uh, if you were a little softer on the throttle. So it's opening and closing more frequently to allow, uh, much like an internal combustion engine injector, uh, like does. a fuel injection yes. system. So yeah, the hydrogen is injected it's yes. at a, re a faster rate depending it's, on the. It's, needs it's allowed of the to pass through. It's actually released exactly. Uh, okay. uh, yeah, so what's, you know, what's amazing is it's very, very silent as well. You don't hear any whining sound, you don't hear any rumbling sound, you don't feel any rumbling, uh, you don't feel any vibrations. It's a very solid, steady, and silent experience. So we're going to take off here at the start. It's just one steady, sorry for jumping so, it's okay. One steady experience there. Wow, that's impressive. I never felt that in a vehicle before. Here we go. I take off. Wow, that sound is impressive because there really is no sound. <laughs> You'd expect to hear something there, but you just don't. Amazing. 